All right, so today I'm going to make a companion video to the review I did of the Baofeng UV5R radio. So I'm going to discuss today what you should buy with your radio right away, and then some software to download. So let's get started. All right, so right away you need the radio. The radio is $25.99 from Amazon. It does have Prime shipping. Uh, if you don't have Prime, if you buy all three of the items I'm recommending together, that gets you just over $49 to get free shipping. If you don't have Prime, you really should. It's worth it. All right, so we have the radio. As I mentioned in the previous video, the radio comes with the radio, a headset for talking, um, a rubber ducky antenna, and then the charging cradle. The next thing I would strongly recommend getting is the USB um, programming cable. Some of the reviews say it doesn't work with the radio. Uh, I guess I just lucked out. I didn't have any problems with using it um, with my computer. So I would order that. Notice that this is an add-on item. You have to order $25 or more to get free shipping on this. But if you order all three items together, you're good to go. And then the last thing I would order right away is a new antenna. The rubber ducky antenna that comes with it is not good at all. So I ordered a Nagoya NA771. This antenna has allowed me to get about five miles, five to seven miles on my handheld radio if I go stand outside. Um, I did experiment today and I was getting about a mile and a half from inside my house in the basement, which is about as worst case scenario as I could get. And the person was reading me loud and clear. All right, so now you've ordered your item, you've waited your two days with Prime, and everything's come. Now what do you do? All right, so you can use the radio programming software that comes with the uh, USB cable. You would insert this, the CD into your CD-ROM, click on it. The first menu here will be in Chinese, no problem, double-click on it. Once you get to there, then it has the model numbers in English. If you ordered the UV5R radio, this is the one you're looking for right here. I'd recommend that you click and drag it and copy it to your desktop. You'll need to download WinRAR if you don't have it. Otherwise, um, double click on it. It'll open up another folder and then you can double click the setup. Um, I already have it installed so I don't want to do that. Fortunately the setup does come in English and so it's easy to follow along. When you do that you'll get the UV5R um, in your settings here. It's under UV5R and so there it is right there. You can open it up from the start menu or I copied a shortcut to my desktop when you first open up this program it's set to Chinese and so what you need to do is come up here along the top it's the second from the right click on it select English it allows everything to be in English and ready to go uh, so then the next step is you'll plug it in a USB port connect it to your radio install all the stuff before you plug in the radio and turn it on turn on the radio and then you can communicate with the radio so you can see I have COM port 5 here which is the one that mine is using you can read from the radio if you want I do already have stations programmed in and so I can get those off the radio and save it if you're starting from scratch basically um, you'll just select each one of the columns and start programming in. So some of them have drop down. What do you want to program it in? This one you just type in. You have your receive frequency and your transmit frequency. Um, if you have an offset in the repeater that you're using, you'll have to use those. If you have a tone to get into your uh, repeater, you can program that in. There again, it just has a drop down. You select which frequency you need. You can select the power level that you want to broadcast with. 
and all the other options. And then once you program all those in, you can just go back to program and write the radio. So what will happen is the LED will flash when it's reading from the radio and writing to the radio. That lets you know that the computer is actually talking to your radio. So that's the Baofeng software. Chirp has a handy feature where you can just program in based on your state and county and band that you want to program in. Um, it will automatically pull those if you go and pull the uh, I pulled 2 meter Dunn County, Wisconsin. You go to radio, query data source, and I've been using repeater book. Some of the other ones you need a subscription to and whatnot and that'll pull them out. The handy thing with this is you can just go to file and export them. You can export them as an Excel file is what I was using and then I pulled all the counties around me, put them all into one Excel file, and then wrote them to the radio. So this is actually a, a better program, in my opinion, than the Baofeng factory software, but the Baofeng works fine if you want to program them in yourself. All right, as a bonus, the other thing you can program in is if you want to get the weather, you can program in um, the seven standard stations that they use or you can go to your state and look at what the um, closest transmitter is to you and pull that. And so that's also a handy feature that you can do. Alrighty, that's all I have for now and have a good day.